so let's arrange the widget now so go to layout just full reload this page control f5 because the browser cached your previous template so control f5 to full reload and arrange the widget so this is the twitter so let's move this to below the facebook so this is the facebook box so follow me so save so the contact us let's move this at the sidebar for now we will hide this layer and let's add a a widget in the footer so profile about me and related popular posts remove the snippets and limit to five in save let's see we'll remove this text widget remove this we will add the two widgets here search Nope, this is a building search. We will add the native search. Cancel. Let's go to iStockPHP.com. Go to Blogger. Copy the code. Just go to this site. Add a gadget. Save. And one more gadget. Pages. Let's enable this. Save. and save our instrument. Let's see. Reload and scroll down. There are four widgets here. Popular posts, searches blog, pages, about me. And let's arrange the sidebar now. So we will remove this contact as form. So in the previous tutorial how to add a contact form in the blogger page as the tutorial before we will hide that via CSS so copy this code again and go to template customize advanced paste the CSS here and apply to blog and back again to layout and let's see the contact as form or hide so popular posts categories I guess we miss one the subscribe via email so let's add up so add a gadget subscribe via email where are you follow by email save so let's put this before the categories save as Reload again. Oop. 
what happened to this it's not styled so we will find or we will use the alternative code in the google feed burner feed burner that google.com just go to this site just follow me guys go to publicize email subscription and copy this code copy remove this built-in feed burner and replace the JavaScript HTML paste join our e list to get updates and save let's move this below the categories save arrangement let's reload this so as you see the subscribe via email looks different now footer sidebar let's move this vlog archive below to categories save again popular posts categories blog archive subscribe via email and Facebook and Twitter so let's visit this test title one let's check it's the same oh there have a uh, to share button here we will remove this and retain this built-in share button in this template so let's go to main blog section so turn off and set the post to at least eight posts in the page in the home page save arrangement save arrangement and so the one of the share button are disappeared so let's add a red crumbing already quick. So let's go to the tutorial. Let us add a red crumb back. How to add a red crumb in blogger template? Let's go to template. Edit HTML. So let's wait this to reload. Scroll down. Let's find this. Control F. Be sure you inside in the editor. Paste. So let's check first so this is there have a two div class posts here so so this is the first one so copy this again copy paste save template so reload as you see the breadcrumb is back 